I'm gonna be installing a DNA high performance air filter on my 2023 Yamaha XSR 900. Let's get into it. All right, so in my last video, I sent my ECU out to VCycleNut. I just got it back. I'm going to be installing it along with a DNA high performance air filter. Before we get started, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Let's get to 400. So like I said in my last video, I took my ECU out. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it up in the corner of the video here. Basically, um, I got to remove the seat, the, the side panels, the front uh, gas tank cover, the gas tank itself. That'll give me access to the air box and the ECU cover. I'm gonna go ahead and start removing some of this stuff and I will take you guys along with me to show you how to get done. All right, y'all, so first thing you wanna do, of course, is remove your seat. And then to remove these side panels, all you're gonna need is a Phillips to remove these two plastic retaining clips and then a push pin uh, here. You just pop that middle piece out and then it comes right out. And then you undo these quick release tabs. These are pretty easy. You just unscrew it and pops right out. I'm gonna go ahead and get these panels off and then we will go to the gas tank. All right, after you remove the side panels, the second step is to remove the gas tank cover. These are held in place by four millimeter uh, Torx and a push pin there. Uh, the push pin is identical on the other side. So just remove those four bolts, that push pin, and you can pull the uh, cover right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and then we'll move on to the gas tank. All right, after you remove the gas tank cover, to remove the gas tank, there are four bolts holding it in place. You have two four millimeter bolts here and then a four millimeter bolt here, uh, one on the exact same side. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those bolts and that'll free the gas tank. All right, after you get the four bolts out, uh, what I, I, sh I should have done this last time, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it this time. I'm gonna remove this bracket, which is held down by four five millimeter bolts. Um, that'll give you some more room to uh, pick the gas tank up and swivel it out of the way while you work on the while you work on the air box. So I'm gonna remove this bracket. Oh, and side note, the gas tank is supported by these two bolts in the back. So when you're taking them out, it's gonna wanna fall down a little bit. Um, so what I like to do is kind of prop the gas tank up with my hand and use my other hand to back the screws out once they get about halfway out. That way you're not putting a lot of strain on, on the gas tank or the bolts as you're pulling the, the bolts out. So, all right, y'all, so I moved the gas tank. I just picked it up a little bit and uh, turned it counterclockwise. I do like to put a blanket under there where it, it contacts the frame, just so I don't scratch anything up. Um, but if you loosen the air hose uh, or the vent hose down at the bottom, it'll give you a little more wiggle room to uh, work with. So here's where your uh, ECU is at. Um, I already, like I said, removed that. I'm gonna be installing it. Um, but to take the cover off, all you have to do is remove the um, Phillips bolts around the air box and that should come up. I'm gonna go ahead and get that off and then we'll install the air filter. All right, and just like that, as soon as you remove those Phillips screws, that cover comes off, gives you access to the stock filter. Uh, all I'm gonna do is remove the filter, put the DNA in, put the intake cover back on, uh, put the ECU on, and then repeat all my steps in reverse order. I'm gonna get this all wrapped up. On my next video, I'm going to give you my first ride and impression of the DNA air filter with the new tune from B-Cycle Nut. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.